from the penthouse to the outhouse and a team stuck right now the New York Knicks while two through eight in the West seems to be a toss up at this point they the New York Knicks and Mike D'Antoni Mike D'Antoni playing ping pong games or thinking about it actually in the near future New York wrapping up their eight straight losing season that's the longest streak in the NBA and the year of the D'Antoni era starting in New York will be remembered as the year that Stephon Marbury got dealt to the New York Knicks. But hey, something did good. Good did happen. Uh, Crypto Nate Robinson took home the slam dunk title, winning over Superman. Dwight Howard, you'll see both tonight in just a few minutes. And hey, David Lee benefited from the D'Antoni system. His 62 double doubles leads the league, and he's one of the more underappreciated players in the game. But the Knicks folded down the stretch recently. They've lost 12 of their last 14 games and now on the second West worst record in the conference. Uh, not a good thing. Good thing for the Knicks, though. They won't be picking in the 20s in this year's draft. In these categories, they're all about the 20s. They're near the bottom of the league in record, opponents' points per game, field goal percentage, and rebounding. D'Antoni says, guys, we need help everywhere. And with that in mind, New York Knicks and their fans all gearing up for the free agent bonanza coming up in 2010 when players like LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh will all be available. The Knicks trying to make a little bit of cap space, but of their most immediate needs right now, Jalen, has to be the fact that they have to do something with David Lee and Nate Robinson. If they plan on being a great team in the future, regardless of what star players you go out and sign a free agency in 2010, you still need depth. I see David Lee, I see Nate Robinson, possibly not as people that can start at the power forward in the point guard for championship contending teams, but yet will give you depth. So therefore, find a way to keep those guys into the fold. Obviously, you don't want to overpay them, and if another team wants to come do that, then you allow them to walk. But other than that, they should try to find a way to keep those guys on the yeah. team. Very productive young players. Every great team needs depth. Both restricted free agents, so teams can match the offer. Well, they can match the offer, and you have to wonder is David Lee a system player because Don Tony he really made Steve Nash a two-time MVP and that was because of that up-tempo system is David Lee in that category I think that remains to be seen also Nate Robinson plays with a lot of energy and gets a lot of effectiveness off that bench he brings a spark and I think his teammates really follow so I think you have to sign those two guys because they have value you can use them later on to be trade bait to go out and free up some more cash space or trade or sign and trade what may have you but I think the biggest chip that has to fall is Eddie Curry. His situation in his huge contract, he hasn't played much this year, so they have to find a taker for Eddie Curry. If they can't do that, I think that messes up 2010. Wow, Eddie Curry's played all of about, what, seven minutes all season. The Knicks haven't made the playoffs for five consecutive seasons and haven't won a playoff game going back to 2001.